Okay, hello friends, welcome back to getting yourself organized with org mode. My little screencast about org mode functions and what you can do with it. It's been a while since the last video, I'm sorry, but I'm very busy in my garden. But today I have a day off, so it's time to record a new video. And today's topic will be tables. If you look at the org mode manual, uh, you find that tables is uh, almost at the beginning of uh, the manual, but many people, also me, are thinking what am I doing with tables. So I had this problem recently because I said, okay, I have to make a video about tables, but I also want to have a real world example what I can do with tables. But first, let's see well, how the table editor is working. If you want to make a table, it's it's quite easy. You start with the pipes and... Oh, sorry, I have to go to my IMAX window. You start with the pipe symbol and then you type something like name, next column, uh, let's say address, and then we do a sort of roll. And that's it. We have a table header with three columns. And now I want to have a horizontal line. That's easy to do with... Uh, you start a pipe and then uh, minus and you press tab. So now you see I have a table and with that tab I get the next row with empty fields. And now let's put some data in. Let's say Barack Obama address uh, 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue and the role of Barack is POTOS. So you see whenever I type something in uh, the table uh, cells and it's bigger than the, the current column wife is uh, all the table is uh, synchronized with the column wife so it looks pretty nice now and at this point I'm here and they say oh god damn uh, I have a, a street but I don't have a city so I want to insert a new column left of this roll column so I press alt shift and cursor right so you see that column where I was is moving to the right and I have a new column here, I say city and let's put in there Washington DC and when I press tab now to go to the next column uh, the column wife is uh, adapted as well. Uh, let's put the next one Vladimir Putin, it's in Kremlin, Moscow, R Russian president, president, so that's that, I press tab, uh, column wife adapted and uh, when you want a simple horizontal line you can also at this point just press Control C and minus and you see there is a new horizontal line below that if i want to move things around i, I would like to have this horizontal line at the top i can i just can uh, press alt and cursor up so now i have a nice header here if i want to exchange columns or move columns i would like to have the roll column in front i just press alt and cursor left so now I have the role, the name and so on so you see you can uh, create nice tables that look nice inside IMAX and uh, sooner or later we will talk about exporting the org mode uh, data and they will also look nice if you export them to let's say PDF or HTML so, but this is just a, a simple uh, table and as I told you before, I was thinking uh, how can I incorporate this table thing in my 
uh, own productivity system. What can I do with it? Because usually I have this uh, hierarchical tree structure that they say I have project and I have tasks and whatever and they are all nested but I, I don't have much uh, real tables. But then I found a good application for the tables because my job is uh, software development and software and hardware testing for Linux and for that uh, we get a lot of brand new test systems every year whenever my company uh, creates a new PC generation I get the test samples and I have to uh, make sure that Linux is running on those machines and all machines get a table I have a, a, a small uh, laboratory and I get test samples of all the machines. You see that the system name here. Every system has a mainboard that has an internal number. And uh, I have a sort of Ivan, uh, inventory list for all my laboratory systems where I say this is the mainboard. That's, that's practically the key to what... Uh, technology what chipset is used so I have one uh, section for Skylake machines and I have a table that says I have this system that is the housing and, and how we put it on the market with what name this is the internal board name so you can distinguish between desktop and mini tower boards and so on this is just uh, housekeeping that I know which uh, CPU samples I have and the important uh, thing for me is the BIOS version because when we do tests we are always uh, supposed to test with the very latest BIOS and there is the problem uh, that uh, you don't do tests on 10 systems all in parallel uh, a lot of them I just put in a shelf and when I have to do a test I put it out of the shelf and then I have to know okay uh, what system is on that, uh, what, what BIOS is on that system. Uh, so I have a row that says current BIOS and I have to know what is the newest uh, BIOS release that we got from the BIOS developers. So in my case I have a frequent uh, action that is scheduled for every week that I say okay let's just go through this table and see for new BIOS versions and the thing is uh, this is the current version I have defined a constant here and let's let's just assume now uh, this week BIOS came out with a release that is, has the version 1.16.0 then I change this I press Ctrl C twice that it's activated so you see nothing is happening to the table at the moment it's like it is there but here I have the table formula and that says okay that row number five uh, not that row the column number five the columns are counted one two three four five this is new BIOS version should be my SK BIOS constant and then I want to do a if then construct that says okay if the, the contents of the column 6, that is this one, the action, if the contents of this column is equal to the contents of the, the current BIOS version, this one is empty, but if it's a difference, then I know I have to update. So if I press Ctrl C twice here, CC, you see now my new BIOS version changed to 1.16, and since all machines have the old version that is not the actual one I have this action update here so my my uh, procedure is I check the BIOS versions once a week because now we are uh, those machines are all released so we don't get a daily BIOS we get maybe one uh, once a week or, or every four weeks or whatever and whenever I find a new version I put it here I update my table and then I export this document uh, to PDF or HTML. I print it out and I hang it on a pinboard in my lab. And then whenever I have to work on one of those systems, I can see 
when I'm putting it out of the, out of the shelf. Oh, look, this uh, Celsius workstation has the old BIOS. I have to update it first before I do tests. That's that's the way I use uh, tables now in my laboratory. Maybe you have another idea what you can do with tables because uh, this table system is, is more or less a spreadsheet system. You see, you can define formulas and you can define dependencies and, and a lot of things. But of course, it's not uh, that, let's say, easy, like if you use LibreOffice Calc or whatever. But uh, at least it's inside the alt mode system, so I can uh, create a frequent task that says, OK, update this file, please. And I place a link to this file, so when I have this on my list, I just have to click on the link and this uh, file opens in IMAX and I can update it, close it, print it out. And the next time I work on any of those systems, I know if I have to update the BIOS on it and then with one look I know what's the, the BIOS of the week, what's the actual BIOS that we have to use. Okay, if you want to get deeper into tab, uh, tables, because uh, tables is, is really almost uh, 20 pages in the documentation, then I recommend, okay, read the documentation, try out. Uh, you have seen what's possible with just a few easy commands. You can probably make something for yourself. But uh, in my case, I'm happy with this table, but I, I don't have yet in mind what I could else uh, do with tables. So this is all for tables now. Thanks for watching. Thanks for all the feedback and the good suggestions that you make. Uh, I will see for the next uh, five videos what I want to present you. There is still stuff that we can talk about and stay tuned. And remember, I'll be back.